Hey everybody, welcome back to the Linux Guy. Today I'm talking about Nextcloud again. This time I'm going to dive in a little bit deeper about to what Nextcloud can do. So in the last video I sort of showed you it can open PDFs, you can edit documents, you can view photos, you can manage your calendar, contacts, email. It's even got a photo viewer to view slideshows if you want. These are all pretty cool things. What have I told you you're only scratching the surface though? So today we're going to dive into these things that I've already talked about a little bit deeper. We're also going to look at apps so that you can see how you can add all the functionality that you may specifically want with your next cloud and realize that the sky's the limit. But the first thing I'm going to do is that we're going to look at documents because the ability to use only Office is totally integrated into version 18 and it should be available from now on. So whenever version 19 comes out, you can expect this functionality will only be improved. It won't be removed. I'm here in my documents and I'm going to click the plus sign and you see there's actually a whole bunch of options. So I can make a text document. What a text document would do is I could write code here. I could work on a bash script or a python script right here and I can use this online text editor that's in my next cloud to do it. I can also make a document. This will be a word document. I can make a spreadsheet or presentation. So you'll see the functionality is that of Google Docs but again it's FOSS so it's all yours. It's not Google's. Let's make a spreadsheet and just try it. You can see it's going to let me name the spreadsheet right now. I'll call it test. And go. You can see it says my file's created, only Office is loading, and here we are. I'm not going to go into huge detail about how this works because if you've ever used Excel, you already kind of know how this works, but this is pretty fully featured. So, like if I made a list of one, three, four, just put a bunch of digits here, and I wanted to put them in order, and let's say call this order. The functionality is here just like it is in Excel. So I clicked A to Z, which automatically puts them in order. And I, you can even sort them by other things just like you can in Excel. However, it's all right here online. So it's a fully functional Office suite, but it's all in your next cloud. So wherever you can get on your next cloud, you can access this. So if you've port forwarded your server and it's outside your network, you can do all the stuff over the internet. Otherwise, you'll be able to do it all on your local network, which is still a pretty powerful thing to be able to do. So now that I've demonstrated it, that only Office is not only integrated it's actually the full thing you can download only office a standalone desktop version which has all this functionality as well but with nextcloud you get all that functionality packed into a web browser so you don't really need to carry a computer a lot of times you can even do this stuff from an ipad for example i've tested it it works on ios so you can access your nextcloud and do real word processing on your local server through your nextcloud on your ipad the other thing i wanted to talk about in this video are apps apps really increase the functionality of Nextcloud a whole lot because you can find whatever you're looking for. There's all sorts of interesting ones. You'll see they're segregated out by categories. So you can see here under customization there's a lot of different stuff you can choose from. One that I've used quite a lot is called App Order. This allows you to arrange the stuff on the top here so that it's in order that you want. Especially if you end up installing a lot of apps, this one's helpful. Now that I've installed the apps, I can find the app under my active apps just to see what I have. You can see I've got only Office, I've got some privacy tools, I've got text, I've got a video player, I've got a lot of stuff here. This is where you can remove or disable apps that you already have installed. So let's go now to settings. And here's another app we just installed called App Order. And now I can move these around so that these appear in whatever order or just not appear at all as I like. So I don't really like activity or mail on there. I like to use that real estate for other stuff. So. I went ahead and removed those, and let's go back to Nextcloud. And you'll see they're not up there anymore. So there's all sorts of apps for all sorts of purposes that you can find here in the app section. You'll see that there are some apps that are untested. Keep in mind you can remove anything that you've installed, so if you want to try one, you can go ahead. Just when you see the red thing, it means it's untested, you may experience some weird stuff going on with it. Just to show you just how diverse these applications can be, right here is a DICOM viewer. Anyone who works in medicine probably knows what this is, and anyone who doesn't probably doesn't know what this is. But this basically is how you view medical images, and there's the ability to do this built into Nextcloud. It's an officially supported application. Download and enable it, and you can use it. There's a music player you can add. There are maps that you can add. And there, this is just one category. This is multimedia. You can add this splash one, which will make the login screen look different every time you log in. 
there is something called Nextcloud Talk. I'm not going to install it right now, but basically right here you can video call people. And there's even apps for iOS and Android you can get so that you can video call people using your Nextcloud server. Keep private conversations. So although this is a short video, the goal of this video is basically to show you that Nextcloud is, while yes, in fact a Dropbox clone, it also has the functionality of whatever you want it to. The sky is kind of the limit. There's so many things you can get and add to this to make it a lot more than just a Dropbox clone. You can get a whole bunch of functionality out of one server that you're running Nextcloud on. As always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe at the bottom, and we'll see you at the next one.